What leads to more Dragon Age Origins. Alright, so we're starting our little relationship deal with Morgan here, hopefully. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fennec, at your service, once again. Now, before you say anything, I do recall that your business is private. But I saw your can and couldn't help but stop. Is there anywhere safer to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? What are you selling exactly? Anything, everything, but all of the finest quality. No cheap trinkets here. And my boy Sandal happens to be a bit of a hand with enchantments. Oh, yes. Sadly, it also makes us a target for bandits and the like. If there were spare hands to hire as guards, I would have done so long ago. You're free to stay. Just mind yourself. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. So what's your story exactly? Oh, nothing so unusual and so interesting as you and your companions, I'm sure. Dwarven merchants are common enough on these roads, aren't they? That means I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I Not literally. and with your discount. A seven gold backpack, huh? Ah, that's with a discount. Well, let's buy it. There's a lot of uh, pricey stuff here. Some nice magical weapons. 21 gold. Sweet axe. It's not two handed though. Here's the blood dragon armor. Which I can't really wear anyways. Nari thickened cap. Tend to healing effects. It's interesting. Anyways, let's see what else is around camp. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? I'm Lugluck. I never heard of you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am, carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, but that. 
but I know he would want his work carried on, his pledge fulfilled. What promise did Duncan make you? My family, well, past a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. What happened next? Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. I'm surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. So what favor did you ask for Duncan? I asked for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Couldn't you just go there by yourself? Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base and my family could have its honor. What do you need from me? I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted. And it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it at least? Your family's faith will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. So this is part of the DLC. This is the uh, Soldier's Peak DLC. I'm not sure if I'm high enough level to even fuck with it right now. Yes? I'd like to talk! Well, here I am. I want to play a game called Motorboat! Tell me of this vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on the peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. What then? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was. A single, beautiful rose. It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, Even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. And this made you uh, want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the Blight devours everything? The Chantry says the Maker has left us. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. 
I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, or what others tell me? Believe what feels right to you, Liliana. That's what Lumbluck does. Thank you. It's nice to find someone, and knowing me, I know what I know. And no one will ever make that untrue. I just do it all for the nookie. I'm not trying to fuck either of you, so let's go. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Fast and damnation. Indeed. Yes. The Brazilian... Brazilian outskirts. Brazilian. The edge of the Brazilian forest. Dangers of which are recorded in local legends. Probably a lot of DC DLC stuff here. The Redcliffe Village. The Soldiers Pass. Frostback Mountains. Lake Callahan Docks. Dinner Room. Soldiers Peak. And Party Camp. About that didn't go quite right. Another damn injury. agents here so we can do some better herbalistic stuff.
Now's better than later. Do you see the tower? The view from the top must be spectacular. So is the view from my bedroom! I'll get on it. Got it. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. How can I help? Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. I'll take a look at these requests. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the collective. Make us smile upon you. Can I get you a ladder? Holy Can shit! Get off my back. Hear me and obey my power waning. I, Kerbalash the Epithet, require a reconnection to the mystic places I've left behind. You and the bearer of this note shall travel to these places and trace upon them my personal glyphs, claiming their eldritch energies for my own. You come upon sites of mystic power in ancient places of the world, the Brazilian forest, the deep roads in the heart of Dinarim, and near the base of the Circle Tower. Careless accusations. The activities of the mouth of Carrium on my doorstep did not go unnoticed, and now I am in danger of being brought before the Templars myself. A small band of Dristers claim to have seen me practicing forbidden arts, and they have left to delivery testimony of my alleged deeds to the Chantry. I ask the mages collective to find and stop these false witnesses by any means necessary. They were traveling on along the road from Lotharine to Denerim, where their lies will seal my fate. Notice of termination. There comes a time in each young man's life that he must strike forth from beneath the shadow of his mentor. For my three young and unremarkable apprentices, this time is now. He who accepts his calling takes it upon himself to deliver documents of congratulations to my apprentices, who will no doubt be uninformed as the contents of the missive. The apprentices' names are Starek, Elena, and Sheth. I have cleverly sent them away from my abode so they may receive this information in a public place, thus guaranteeing the safety of my willing courier. You will find two of them in Denerim. The other is procuring a slightly rare item from Alzarm. Alzamar. And be sensitive, I would not wish harm upon their delicate feelings. I got a fire bitches for you? Wow! Thy brother's killer! My worst fears have been realized. A band of devilish malficarium are performing their profane rituals within my close proximity to my own sanctum. This cannot stand. I, Jubasto, charge he who accepts this request to destroy the fiends before the evil brings unwanted attention from either Templars or demons to my back door. Travel to the Brazilian forest and slay these blasphemers. Herbal magic? Disaster so consumed have I been in my personal projects that I have neglected to collect vital components of the herbal remedy I used to sharpen my mind for thoughts of the other world. Without it, I am ruined. Ruined! I will humbly reward any who bring me ten bundles of deep mushrooms. With this, I can continue my quest for enlightenment with a clear mind and fewer bouts with drowsiness and indigestion. May he who accepts this request be showered in riches and love from the Maker's heart for this noble and selfless act. This is literally my salvation. Huh? All right, so we picked up five more questicles. Fantasticals. Shady thug. Slim shady. So shady. Yes? I'm here on behalf of the Blackstone Irregulars. Oh? What is this about? I hear you stole supplies from the guild. Oh, I see. 
Tauren must have sent you. I refuse to answer to a pawn of Tauren. Come, men! To arms! You just fucked up! I see enemies ahead! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. I'm a Grey Warden, and I seek assistance of the mages. Oh, you're a Grey Warden, are you? Prove it. Prove it? I have documents here. Yes. Oh, a Grey Warden seal. Aha. So you're claiming to be one of those. You know, I have some documents, too. They say I'm the Queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? My documents are actually real. Kill some darkspawn. Come on, let's see some righteous Grey Wardening. There aren't any darkspawn here. Well, that's good, I suppose. Wouldn't want darkspawn smeared across the landscape. I hear their blood is black. Is that true? You'd know if you were a Grey Warden. It's not black, but it burns you if, when it touches you. Oh, pleasant, eh? Hey? Good thing I don't have to kill them, then. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. Your superior won't like it that you're giving me trouble. And my patience is wearing thin, dickface. Well, good things come to those who wait. And maybe you should wait a little longer. Not that I'm saying I'll eventually let you in. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Good point. Yes, he'll be very mad. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? No, not ready yet. I'll just be here. Just standing. Waiting. Don't mind me. Okay, I won't. Why, bless my soul. What's a distinguished personage like yourself doing here? Looking for bitches? <laughs> Don't hold your breath. No one's been allowed across the lake for days. I'm the ferryman. Leastwise, I used to be. Poor old Kester. Out of a job. The guard on the docks will, will let me by. Oh, Carol told you that, did he? That sounds about right. Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester, we got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat, Lissy, named for my grandmum she was. Something wrong up there at the tower? I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic, but the tower's always got something to do with magic. You go on ahead, then. They were nice talking to you. Insufficient skill. Drink in peace. 
Good day. Well, let's head over to the circle tower. We need to get in that chest eventually. There's a love letter. That has to do with a later on quest, I believe. Oh, hello. It's you again. Come to chat a little, have you? Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now we wait and pray. What's going on here? We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. Huh? No, the Majors have an obligation to the Grey Wardens. I am weary of the Grey Wardens' ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. This is why we cut the tongues from mages in Parvolan. I will admit to agreeing with your companion. Maker knows the Kunari would not have gotten themselves into this position. Sound like the Templars haven't been doing their job! My men did what they could, but it wasn't enough. They took us by surprise. We were prepared for one or two abominations. Not the horde that fell upon us. What's your plan? Rally your men! Kill them all! I will destroy the tower, raise it to the ground. But I cannot risk more of my men. The doors remain shut, and they will protect us for now. That's no solution. Doors can be broken. I'm not gonna do it all the time. Doors to stay closed forever. Everything in the tower must be eliminated. That sounds like a job for Mugluck. Calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right to annulment? We're not married. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. There must be another way. If there was, do you not think I would have chosen it? There are only abominations left in this tower. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. I'll look for survivors. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. Abominations cannot stand against the mighty Luglug. If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. We have an agreement, then. Is that all you can offer me? We have nothing to offer you, but gratitude and service. I have heard the tower holds many valuable artifacts. I expect we'll have to consider them lost or destroyed. Ah, perhaps I can save some of these artifacts. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Alright folks, that wraps it up for this episode. Stay tuned for more Dragon Age.